Hello, fellow guitar geeks. Today, I've got a brand new overdrive pedal from Redbeard Effects. And there it is. It is black. It is gray. It is shocking pink. Have a look at this. Now, that is a pedal that will not hide on your pedal board. Look how pink that is. Hand built in the UK, the Angry Rhubarb is from Redbeard FX. This is their third pedal. So when I say they, I mean Mikey Demas from Skindred and Adrian Thorpe from Thorpey FX, in case you didn't know. The first pedal was the Red Mist Mark IV Distortion pedal. Then they had the Honey Badger Octave Fuzz, both mwah, beautiful. And then this is their latest offering, the Angry Rhubarb Paradynamic Overdrive. I want to hear how it sounds. I know you do. So let's go straight to my top five tones. It's a five knobber, top left being the master volume. So turn that all the way down, you're gonna get no sound. Turn it all the way up, you're gonna blow some eardrums. Bottom left, we've got the pre-drive, which is a low gain drive style drive, followed by the EQ section. So on the left of the EQ section, this pink one, we've got the gain of the frequency. In the middle, it's doing nothing, thereabouts. Anywhere left, it's gonna cut. Anywhere to the right, it's gonna boost. What does it boost? Well, you select the frequency with this frequency knob, and that goes all the way down to about 100 hertz, all the way up to about four kilohertz. Then finally, after that section, we've got the post drive. And the post drive is where you want to be if you want to give lots of gain. Let's try out some settings, but so far, just so you know where we are, if we put it around all that down there, and that about there, and that about there, it gives us a rough, true bypass kind of feeling. So it just boosts the mids of the amp. I'll show you. Clean tone. Angry rhubarb. As you dig in, it starts to really, there's a bite there. There's an angry growl. Let's um let's play with the gain, shall we? So the the pre-gain. We're not going to touch the post-gain just yet. Just the pre-gain. I'm not sure what chords I'm playing today, but um that that fills up that bottom end. That fills up that sound. It's getting thicker, getting fuller. On this setting, we've got kind of a, a low gain garagey kind of 60s sound. It's making the Fender Deluxe Reverb, which is going through the, the Harley Benton 212 uh, vintage 30s cab, the vertical one just down there, the one I'm pointing at. Uh, it, make, it makes that sound like a small amp, like a small fuzzy little five watt champ. 
I like that. That's really cool. As I said, if we if I put the, the frequency there, or say to the left of the middle, um, that's a Natalie Imbruglia album. It's a deep cut. Um, if I if I push this one, it's going to cut that frequency, whatever that is. So it gives us quite a nasally honk. That I like. That's like a lo-fi indie kind of... Just to jump in to the post drive, I've pushed it all the way to the top and the pre-drive all the way to the top, and I'm boosting the topmost frequencies about, I don't know, let's say 2 dB. So this, this frequency gain can go up to about 6 dB and, and down to about minus 6 dB. You know, give or take a couple of de buzz. <laughs> It's adding like this this low frequency. There's like an octave going on. It's a beautiful honk, isn't it? So let's take a look at the post drive without any pre-drive. See what that does. Turning it to the middle, turning pre-drive all the way down, stick that somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so about that. See what we got there. So that's a much more medium drive, just to compare that quickly to the, the pre. And both together. That's not exactly where I like it. Let's let's have a little bit more clarity. It does. It does that really nicely. Gotta be careful. But that that's enough. And that's that's for that classic rock, that's more than enough gain. Maybe maybe too much. Let's try pushing that all the way up, or most of the way up, and just give me a little flavour of the post. So you can change that entirely. Let's hear what it sounds like without any EQing boosting. Sounds a little flat, which is why I wanna I'm gonna cut some of the some of that. Bet it chugs nicely because of all these mids. Let's give it some chuggage. It does it again. So hopefully by now, I mean, I've discovered the voice of this pedal. The voice of this pedal is, or can be, quite mid-rangey, um, quite honky. And so that sort of sound that jumps forward in the mix rather than a full-on um, tube screamery sort of sound. It's or a full-on, like, 
there's elements of fuzz as well, but like so uh, uh, certainly gain like distortion because it's. <laughs> It's it's a dis <laughs> it's an overdrive, but it's going into that distortion territory when when you're up with a post drive. I really like it as a low gain drive as well. That's really pleasing. Let's give it a bit more warmth. Nob. There it is. Um, it's yeah. Well done, Redbeard Effects. Well done, uh, Thorpey and Mikey. Handy. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break for a minute and come back with a different guitar. But to you, that's gonna be instantaneous. Chapman ML3 in dropped C sharp, which I think Mikey tunes to a lot. So it'll be interesting what this sounds like. Where's the knob? There it is. <laughs> Nice, it's adding that little bit of hair. Let's see what it does when we do that massive big post drive and pre drive thing. And and what we're gonna do? Now we're gonna boost a little bit of the high frequencies as well. Or a little bit of that, whatever that is. <laughs> That, that is a good tone. So I've been kind of enjoying it so far, but I, I love this guitar firstly because it, it's very clear, the clarity coming from these pickups and this tuning, this guitar works in this tuning so well, and it pairs well with some drives and distortions and doesn't pair so well with others. Sometimes it sounds a bit bleh and a bit sort of lackluster. With this angry rhubarb, this, Chap this Chapman ML3 should come with an angry rhubarb already inside it. Yes, Rob. Yes, Mikey. <laughs> I'm going to play some more. Um, do it, you know, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> ah! Bring it, bringing that out quite a lot. Um, I got nothing to fix fix that with. <laughs> You might want to skip this bit if you're not into this kind of music, but I'm, I'm having a whale of a time. Just that alone. Believe me when I say, uh, that's one of my favourite sounds I've ever played. I'm trying to avoid killing in the name of, because that's what it feels like. There are at least 
two people that I know personally who probably are watching this. Hello, fellas. And you will want this pedal because I know that you like this sort of music. And um, oh, hello, Benji. <laughs> Um, you're going to want this, mate. It's um, it's fantastic. And yes, you can borrow mine. Borrow. Speaking of borrow, I went to a friend's house. Uh, I have friends, by the way. Real friends in real life. It happens sometimes. Uh, I went to a friend's house about a week ago, and I took the Angry Rhubarb with me, and I almost left without it because he really wanted to keep it. I couldn't let him because I needed to make this video. <laughs> but now I can't let him for totally other reasons. <laughs> This could be a Billy Givens pedal. Oh! I've had a marvelous time with this pedal, and I am. I, this would be. This is going to go on my board as well. So I've had a few pedals recently that have replaced other pedals. This one, I kind of would. I kind of want two, so that I can have one low gain and one high higher gain. Otherwise, I'm going to be down there, you know, changing the knobs all the time, which I'm fine with. But it's got more than one sound that I think is very usable, and more than two sounds, in fact. It's got a whole plethora of sounds, a menagerie of tone monsters. And um, if you want one, you can have one too by visiting the link in the video description. So let's review this sucker. Um, you can probably tell that I love the tones. I also love the way it looks. I love the name. I love Mikey and I love Thorpey and I love Redbeard Red Beard Effects. I, can't, I love them so much I can't even say their name. So that makes me, it doesn't make me biased, it makes me an enthusiast because so far they've released three pedals and so far each one has been a hit. And uh, the proof really for me was when I took this pedal to my friend Steve's and he was so enamored with it. So Steve, I know you're probably watching this, so thanks mate. Um, you made this video very easy for me because I feel your joy pumping through me. Uh, we played it to the Fender Deluxe Reverb Tone Master with Steve's telly and there were sort of like three or four overdrives that day that really stuck out. And this one was, I think it was, I think we said number one. If not number one, then certainly in the in the top three, which is insane, um, because you know that's nice. He he doesn't know who Mikey is. He doesn't care. You don't care, Steve. Mikey, he doesn't care. But um, he loves your pedal. <laughs> Build quality is rock solid. If I'm going to be really really picky, then one of the knobs is not quite straight, and I'm talking just off. But I have to say it because I noticed it, and it would be unfair if I didn't mention it. It's nothing you won't really notice until I've said it now. Can you see that middle frequency gain is a little bit off center? So I have one of the early ones. So Mikey has paid attention to this and will be making sure that each angry rhubarb does not make you an angry vegetable. Is rhubarb a vegetable or a fruit? Or is it something else? What is rhubarb? Is it a, is it a grass? Can someone do the homework, please, and let me know in the comments? Because I need to know, and I don't have access to Google like you guys. Please let me know, what is a rhubarb? What is it? Anyway, the, the pedal does have several different tones, but it's got that voice. It's, for me, I, I really loved it when it was around, I think it was kind of there, or was it there? No, it was there, where I was boosting whatever this is, um, somewhere between 100 and 4K. Whatever it was, it was nice. It's definitely going to cut through a mix. It's definitely going to make you heard without having too much volume. I didn't even touch that volume at the top, I realized. I left that wherever that is. That's that's probably something. I, no, no, I stand by what I did. I had fun with the pedal, and I didn't need to touch the volume because it, it works. Hmm. I'd love to see it stacked with other pedals. So if you buy one and you make a video, tag me in it and I will come and watch it. Uh, it'll make it for sure into my pedal roundup of 2021 because it is genuinely one of my favorite pedals of the year. And it is so wonderful to call Mikey a friend and be able to support the products he makes without feeling guilty of being biased. You know, I'm not biased. I just really like what they do. And it's great because I can bring that to you and then we can share that joy. And all that positivity is only a good thing, right? Cool. 
So if you are looking for something a little different, and it's shocking pink, then the Angry Rhubarb might be for you. It does go from almost very classic, and a very classic sort of low gain drive with still that, there's still a grit to it. There's still a, a an angry rhubarb, a, a red beard effects somethingness to it, the little je ne sais quoi. And then it goes all the way to full on um, drop tuning madness. I really, really enjoyed that sound just for that open D or whatever the chord would be. Someone else did the music theory on that for me. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, I've had so much fun today. Thank you. A big thank you to my friends at Redbeard Effects for sending out the Angry Rhubarb. And if you're watching this in the live premiere on day one of video release, if you stick around, you'll see Mikey Demas as the guest on the Guitar Stories podcast. So don't go anywhere and we'll be directed directly into that podcast. If you're watching this at some other point, the podcast will be posted as one of these videos just over there on the other side of this paddle. Um, so yeah, go and watch that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.